So today, what, what we're going to be looking at is um, our latest radio. Now, this is actually a very much a bare bones radio, and it's designed to work with the, uh, the Mohawk camera. So we've actually stripped out a lot of functionality that we have in our other radios. So we've removed the uh, Bluetooth, we've removed the GPS, we've removed some of the other interfaces we've, we've built into our other radios, our more complicated radios. So we don't, this doesn't support meshing and that kind of thing. Uh, so this is very much a sort of basic point-to-point -point radio where we want to get the maximum performance out of it with the Mohawk camera. Um, today we're actually going to be doing a, a trial just outside the door here, just to see how it works. And um, the, it's going to communicate with the, um, the camera, or the camera's going to communicate with the radio um, via Wi-Fi. Then the radio bearer will, on the other end, communicate with the um, person watching the feed via uh, Wi-Fi to a mobile iPhone or Android phone. So it's quite a simple configuration, and the idea is that it, it works seamlessly with the Mohawk app. So there's no specialised software involved, and in fact there's no cost of software involved either. So let's see how we get on. So we're going to go to a whole live demo here, uh, pretty much in real time I hope, without uh, editing anything out. So um, the first stage is to turn on the um, app side radio. Um, and obviously that's got built-in Wi-Fi, which is used to connect to the, um, the phone itself. Uh, the next stage is to um, find that Wi-Fi on the, um, the phone. And there it is. Okay, so we choose the, the Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi chosen. So the plan is that uh, we're going to go for, well, I'm going to take the, the camera for a bit of a walk. And um, then... Afterwards, uh, we can have a look on the map, see how, how far we, we got, what the sort of quality of the um, stream was coming back, and um, we, um, yeah, we're in business. Okay, so I've got the, um, the camera and the um, camera radio. Now I'm going to head outdoors. We're going to um, down here, I'll walk around there, uh, beyond that building, and then hopefully come back up here and um, see how it goes. Him over 200 meters now easily.
mes. Still clear as a bell. There's the image there. Clean as a whistle. A little bit of jets are coming in now, that's because behind some clutter and it's recovered. Probably out about 500, 600 meters now. I can't even see where he's gone. And a little bit of jitter, a little bit of stall, but at that range, non line of sight, it's pretty good. See again, but he's still maintaining a very clear picture. A little bit of jitter here and there. There's a lot of attenuation in the way. He's gone behind behind that facility there. Yeah, we've still got a decent picture. No idea where he's gone. <laughs> he's coming round back out to the southeast, I think. Yep, okay. We should pick him up shortly. He's got a ways to go yet, yeah, actually. building you can see in the foreground is actually a building you can see him approaching but from the other side. So that's the signal actually making its way through and around that building. And there he is. It's broken cover and now we have a perfectly clean signal. Again, 200 metres away. Very clean signal. Good images. No jitter. Some time. I'll just come out and see where he is now. That's him. Station there. That's the end of the road. About 100 metres away now. And therefore uh, a perfectly clean, clear picture in which we should appear. see us on the right hand side of the picture. Okay, I think. okay we've come back in and we've had a look at the, um, the map and we've got an idea as to how far we actually did go with the uh, radio. 
And if we have a look at this map, I can just point out the path that I took. The, um, the ICP, if you like, was over, over here. Um, I walked along here, down this area here, then around here. This area here was actually clear line of sight in that there's, there's no buildings there. Um, there. There were a couple of high um, wire fences. Then when I continued over here, I was actually behind a building which is about here. I would show you the satellite imagery, but the buildings here are all much newer than the satellite imagery uh, on Google, so I can't show you that. But there's basically, there's a building here. So we're kind of going to a building at this point and there's also a big pile of rubble over here, so I'm not sure whether that wasn't also being intersected a bit, but um, it wasn't completely clear line of sight. And we were getting uh, 361 metres there. So there's a good chance that I could have continued on here and um, got, got a much greater range. So I think that gives a pretty good indication of um, the capability of this radio. And... Um, we can see that this is well over 200 metres and uh, we've had it working through buildings too.